Everyone's getting excited yeah. for cooler weather. We have all the fall festivals, uh, football games on Friday nights. Uh, it's just, it's an amazing time of year. Uh, now, of course, with our cool downs does come rain, and so we do have a few spotty showers, mostly along the coast this morning. These storms are for the most part moving to the north, so uh, maybe slightly northwest, but mostly north, and I don't expect a lot of this activity to really get past Sinton. Most of it is going to be off to the east of Sinton and continuing to move north, and as we head into the afternoon, it's all going to shift closer to Victoria and Houston than more so Corpus Christi. Right now, we've got those low level clouds. This is where storms are trying to develop in the San Patricio County and then they just weaken. Right now at 619, we've got a temperature of 79 degrees. Our best chance of rain looks to be through the morning, again, mostly along the coast. Then we heat things up with partly sunny to mostly sunny skies by 4 o'clock. Temperatures will be in the mid 90s to upper 90s. We're talking 93 for Corpus Christi, Sitton, 96, Alice Kingsville. Very similar conditions to yesterday, so expect it to feel a little humid and just muggy out site as well. We once again have a coastal flood advisory that's going to be uh, from 7 p.m. this evening. It reissued through 10 a.m. on Thursday. That's because all of our high tides are going to be coming up in the evening. Now this coastal flood advisory is not only for our Gulf facing beaches, but also for along our bays as well. And so just keep that in mind if you do have plans to be near the water. Uh, watch out for higher tides that may impact driving or parking in spots. So Bob Hall Pierce high tides 11 35 p.m. Port A 1113 at the USS Lexington 526. I believe Packery Channel. It's right here. Uh, that's about 7 uh, a.m. into the morning. So one of the reasons we're having higher tides is we've got stronger way or higher waves and longer periods, which is allowing those waves to make it a little bit further up the beach. Uh, and so we also have onshore winds that have been taking place as well. That's going to change heading into the weekend. But three to five foot waves today falling to about two to four foot by Friday. We pick the waves back up Saturday and then they do fall a bit heading into next week and the period shortens. So we'll definitely see less flooding uh, by Monday and Tuesday and less of a rip current risk as well. The rip current risk is dangerous in these conditions. When our winds shift out of the northeast, we can also get upwelling that then continues to push some water uh, closer to the shore as well. So we may still be dealing with some coastal flooding difficulty parking on the beach through the weekend, but lighter winds on Sunday. But notice we keep those northeast winds through the weekend in, which is why our temperatures are going to be cooler behind that cold front. So this is what I've been watching all week. So the cold front is looking earlier Thursday afternoon, still a 5 to 15 degree temperature drop, but maybe slightly warmer than we were going yesterday. Spotty all week, one to three inches of rain, mostly as the front is moving through. It looks like more so Thursday afternoon now. Gusty winds both today and Saturday, and then those wave heights have been running pretty steady. So you'll see the front, a chance of storms out ahead of the front Thursday, and then as the front moves through by Thursday evening. We will see conditions drying out, but we're still cloudy Friday into Saturday till we really get that nice cooler air moving in on Sunday with high pressure moving back over the area. So that's why Sunday is my favorite day. <laughs> what are the day I'm looking forward to? We'll see some sunshine. It will feel great. Temperatures falling into the low 60s for lows. Uh, areas inland may even see the 50s still, but I think 60s for Corpus Christi. We may dip into the 70s on Sunday for a high temperature, Barbie.